We're underway, baby! Philippines versus Morocco. Who is advancing? Who doesn't know? So let's get it on and popping, Chris. I can't believe it's been over five hours, mate. That went by in an absolute blink of an eye, a flash. Here we go. Oh, he fell over. Taxi right there as we see quick transition bucket. And again, Morocco just seemed like one of the calmest teams out here in the, in the field today, Vince. And Philippines definitely chirpy, definitely energetic. It's going to be a real contrast of styles right here. Can't wait to see how it transitions, how it pans out. It's going to be very, very fun. Great little shuttle pass. The big fella taking his time, pump faking, making sure you move your feet, you lose your seat. And a quick foul right there by the Philippines. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Morocco's in the white, Philippines in the blue. Master Ricks, the guard, trying to control. Nice little mid race stop, pop, and lock it. That's how you score that too, real fast on the inbound. And as you can see right there, BHI LCB definitely being smart with it. With the left going up. And then trying to get it here, a little behind the back shoulder pass. Don Priest, big fella. Let's see if he's going to score. Nope. LCB taking his time with this one, Chris. See if he's going to get that nice little shot. But Don Priest unable to score. Yeah, good cut. But of course, you know, a hand up there, making it a tough shot there from Motokino. I mean, clock is Zaval. Just to be clear, that was who was interviewed as well for anyone watching at home. We know these guys. I call him the green lemming here. All right, but that's the guy with the rock right there. He likes to really have a commanding presence IRL and in the game. So you're going to see him toting the rock, directing this offense a lot. He's a phenomenal, world-class player. Yeah, but this, yeah, as you heard him say, biggest game of his life. So far, so good for Morocco. They work the open three, though. It rims out. Quick transition bucket at the other end, and it's in. Six zip for Morocco. An early quaka shocker in this one. Morocco going into third gear immediately. They're not even going to hesitate. They know how strong this Southeast Asian king could be. So they're going to make sure that they feel their presence. If they don't, then Philippines will take advantage of that. We know how dynamic they can be. They have a beautiful balance when it comes to the team coming from defense to the offense. And right there, amazing oh. court vision, finding the go. open man, two-handed slam at Chama. That's all I want to see from the Philippines. I mean, that's an emphatic dunk. If you have to get a dunk anyway, let it be that way. They're finally on the board here in the Philippines, and that'll just calm the nerves. I mean, sometimes the first bucket's the hottest, right? Now let's open the floodgates as we see a deep two right there. It is two day, but early draws in this one. Now Morocco said they're the kings of Africa, and let's see if that's going to be true. But the Philippines is not a team you can sleep on, all right? Got to pay attention to this Duncan guard right here. LCB been gliding to the rim, has more air than a hot air balloon. But let's see right now if he can get a nice little crisscross with the ankle breaker, trying to get some separation. Step back, unable to finish, but then going for the rebound. Social offensive board, and then a foul by Morocco. Yeah, absolutely. Look at the players. Braxo there locked in. He is 30, and he carries himself like a slightly older team member. You know, a little bit more wisdom. Nice work right there, though. The lead is cut in half. Really phenomenal stuff. They're not chirping yet, though. Not chirping yet, but getting there, getting warmed up. A little bit of disrespect hanging on the rim for a solid, like, 10, 15 seconds. I mean, just getting some thigh sweat on the opponent. I mean, are you supposed to do that? That should be a technical foul. Come on, Zebras. Let's play this fairly. I, I call that the sloth, but only because I'm slow, right? There we go. Nice cut here. Oh, but Okino kicking it back out. Good ball rotation here from Morocco, pulling the trigger. Nice defensive boards again. USA basketball tactic, two defenders crashing the boards and trying to hit that quick transition bucket. Sometimes it's a copycat game, right? Not quite working out there because, of course, Morocco really good on the transition D. Not I mean USA basketball. Also, Brazil has that same tactic as well. Definitely suffocating defense, but a nice little open lane. Beautiful John Morant dunk right there. That's what I like to see. Nice little quick hop. They got some bungees on that, man. Yeah, absolutely. And so far, it's a scrappy game, and I'm here for that, man. I really like that. So we got a hand up in the passing lane right there. A quick steal, some good ball rotation. Clue, who you, you pointed to, can heat up and get going at any point right here. But his clock, just trying to tie this game up. Pulls back for three, drops it in, tie it up. 
He says, hold my Gatorade. I'm going to take the lead. That was huge. Right then. Now, I'm going to say it now. People are going to be playing this game. You may have the will to take the shot, but do you have the skill to make the shot, which is absolutely beautiful. And no, they'll love seeing is that they will never give up. Close up on the Philippines, all chewing gum like they're literally playing in the NBA, trying to make sure they stay focused, stay in tune, and also don't break their concentration. Master X from Morocco, definitely being the floor general, flying the open lane, but getting on that short elbow, but could not actually make it, but gets fouled and going to the line for two. Here we go, trying to etch back that lead, Vince, and it's about to be a one-point lead, which is my favorite, because anything can happen. Anything can happen, my brother. Ten to nine, but again, they started out slow. It was basically a 6-0 deficit, and Philippines was kind of a little bit on the scramble, but now they're showing a little bit of life. That's weird D3 right there, almost a tip rebound by the Philippines, and now let's see Morocco taking possession here. Solid stuff right there. And of course, it's been a really fun day, Vince. I do want to say to all the New Zealanders watching on Sky Sports down there, Kira Ora, my friends, the land of the long white cloud. Your lads did you proud as we get a return to sender, but it falls perfectly to the market player who strokes it for 15. Baseline shot, low percentage shot, made it look easy. Roxo is a nightmare. <laughs> like a chainsaw massacre. You do not want to get him crazy because I'm telling you, just going to get bloody. But he knows how to knock down that short corner, one of my favorite places to shoot when it comes to real basketball in a beautiful place right here on NBA 2K. And all of a sudden, faking, fighting him and saying, I'm just playing with you. Let me dunk on you. He was like, can I? I think I can. Boom. <laughs> Throws it in. I love it, man. We got ourselves a really cagey affair right here, the Vince. This is what we wanted, man. Win and you're in, unless there is a an absolutely massive upset over there. Turkey versus Lebanon, you never know, though. That Lebanese team, I was quietly talking them up on the way in. Let's see how they finish in this one, though. A one-point game, tight as you like after one quarter. Exactly what the script called for. I Braxo Masters leading right now, got six points each. That's half the game. And let's see what's going to go here because this is absolutely amazing. And now we got to get some live action by our man India. What's going on? Of course, we know that this is a win or go home between the Philippines and Morocco. What we also want to make sure the folks at home know is that the winner of this matchup gets a hot date, a first date with USA basketball tomorrow. You can see USA basketball there watching who their potential opponent may be. And I know Lance, he's going to go back to the hotel and watch film anyway but they're keeping an eye on them see what tendencies pop up for tomorrow's semifinals shout out to coach Lance shout out to the entire staff of USA basketball I have worked with them again completely unbiased but I do know they take anything that involves basketball seriously okay if it's the NBA if it's FIBA if it's FIBA 3x3 and right here with eSports they put their full support with their players and I salute you to that Federation yeah big time Vince I mean respect given where it is due. They have definitely earned the respect of this commentator right here who picked Turkia as the favorites. Uh, they're still up there, but I got to tell you, USA Basketball have impressed. Uh, every single game was phenomenal. The way they win, uh, yeah, real well-oiled machine right there. And, and as we see, all of them sitting there watching these two teams, knowing full well that one of them is going to be facing them tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, that yeah. is a date with destiny. Date with destiny, but again, shows how well-oiled machine that team is. Watching their opponents, studying, finding any little nick and cranny. But again, not saying we're taking anybody lightly. We want to make sure we have every possible way to fight against either Morocco or the Philippines. Because both these teams are definitely dominant. And how many times can we say that Southeast Asia plays Africa? I mean, that's what I love about the EFIBA World Finals. Yeah. Continents coming together. Talented just making this beautiful mesh pot of this gumbo. And it's just delicious every bite. Delicious gumbo, mate. I mean, I love that, yeah. Kings of Africa versus Kings of Southeast Asia right here. And what a tight game. Look at the hustle on defense from Morocco. And again, they find themselves with a lead, and they 
they haven't done anything that is like outstanding necessarily. They are just such a solid team. Right here, a real play, a fast break, slam, a jam. That's what I like to see. But here's the thing. It started with that six-point deficit. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Once you dig that hole, now you keep trying to climb out, which is exhausting. you got to play high octane from the start because all you're going to do is just work harder just to get it equal and back to zero. zero. Absolutely. Here we go. And once again, a little bit of deja vu right there. I love it, man. Just pumping it, throwing it down. You love to see it. And we got ourselves a really tight game right here. I get the feeling you can see our first overtime of the day, Vince. Those are the vibes that they're laying out, and I'm picking up. I want buzzer beater. I want last minute shot. I want to be jumping out to see. This is one of the last games of today. We still got Lebanon versus Turkey. Don't get me twisted. But right here is a do or die matchup. Philippines, Morocco. Also, everybody watching at home, I'm probably do about three more times. Make sure you fill out that survey. Go to E. FIBA.basketball and also if you're watching on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, press that follow button, okay? Shout out to Truly Honcho. Shout out to Nate Patrick. You guys are doing your thing right here in Sweden. Appreciate everyone has been part of this fantastic eFIBA World Final. Yeah, and that survey, I'm here to tell you, man, those eFIBA hoodies are absolutely legit. Uh, you were going to see tomorrow why we needed a warm hoodie uh, yesterday. <laughs> yep. And believe me, they're warm. They're stylish, they're fun. You can also get 2K game codes, begin your international career with your first step today. And of course, those beautiful FIBA basketballs we were shooting around on earlier. Oh yeah, right there, he's getting a close up of Clark. I see you, Ice, and also right next to him, Don Breach. This man has done a three-peat pump fake, wait, and then off two foot, the vert dunk. I mean, that's called patience as a big man. You wanna make sure that the defender is nowhere near to make sure that contest is 0%. You want no absolute coverage on you so you get 100 but then right now they're just creeping back five point lead morocco ain't going nowhere yeah that was really impressive man it's just that like rebound to shot of about two seconds you know just pouring in points like that just make it so hard to beat clock trying to steady the ship perch has been perching on the edge of that rim all day that's about his fourth dunk right there impressive stuff the lead is only three it's just <laughs> It is literally setting up to be a truly massive second half right here as we do see a gorgeous three right there from Morocco. Knocking it down again. Car 98 put that sniper on it and just hitting his mark. And also 17 to 23. Don Preach has been absolutely phenomenal this game. But now it's just a battle of a two versus a three and threes always win. But now they're giving it to the hot hand. They're trying to get his takeover activated and a smart timeout. Let's reset. Let's get in the inbound because we're right Right there. Six points is not that far, but that's the deficit they started with. Absolutely. So we approach here the final minute of the first half between the Philippines and Morocco. Win and you're in. Sure, you're just going to be facing USA basketball, but they can't think about that right now. They're going to play this game. And on the flip side, Turkey versus Lebanon. They are just about to come out of the virtual tunnel and get their game on over there. Jam-packed action for you here, EFIBA Season 2. Well, finals. My legs are still locking up. I'm still ready. I got the energy for at least 14 more games. After 15, I'm just going to pass out. But anyway, 17 to 23. Let's see what Morocco's doing when it comes to the inbound. Montserrat goes to Marokino. Big fellow. Here we go. Now we got a split screen. Turkey versus Lebanon is on the right. And they just started. And Kato the problem became Kato the solution. Starting off with a power slam and jammer. First blood by Turkey. And I mean, yeah, he had himself a game, didn't he? He had himself an absolutely massive game earlier. He has been a phenomenal player for Turkey today. And this, this format, this tournament, all the way back to the qualifiers, where we had the audience selecting which games we were going to be tuning into, the fans speaking, telling us, where are you going, Vince? Where are you going, Chris? Get over here and watch this game. It's been great, and I love the format here as well. Again, that survey, as you can see, filled out as soon as you can. Get your prizes. You know, we're going to try to increase the prize next year. Maybe it might be tickets to come to the next EFA FIBA World Finals. That would be insane, but we got to start small. So we got amazing sweatshirts. We got the NBA 2K codes and also EFA basketball. But as you see, 19 to 23. 
very close game. Philippines, Morocco. Don Preach, 10 points, four rebounds. But then look at X Marquino, big fella. Again, battle the bigs, 10 rebounds. That's key right there. It just goes to show uh, that's why Pro Am mode here, 5v5. Five, five. five people on each team, each controlling their own avatar. Just like real life basketball, that's why it's such a good game mode, man. It's a team game. You need complete performances from the best teams in the world here. Only a four point game. Morocco with a slender, slender lead. It's only a slither right now. And here come the Philippines. We heard him. We heard Clark, uh, who is uh, PHI, which obviously Philippines, Saval. Clark, he was interviewed before the game saying, it's the biggest game of our lives. And it was the most nervous I've ever seen him. So, yeah, he's rising to the occasion. He has not shied away from those ball handling duties, Vince. It's been impressive stuff. As we get Morocco trying to get a sneaky steal right there. Oh, yeah, and real quick, shout out to, you know, everyone doing our socials again. One more time, truly Honcho and also Nate Patrick. Follow eFeeb on all social media channels. That's eFeeb underscore official. And also, follow all the federations as well. Not only go to eFeeb underscore official, you're going to find, you know, Turkey a, a federation, the Philippines with me, USA Basketball Federation, whole bunch of people that need your support trying to get this esports world bigger and bigger and also like also the basketball community just keep growing because you know we love this game so much Ooh, deep three right there work through a shot they got the board back though a fresh tent to shoot right here clock trying to work that open shot kicks it to the corner to social looking for Don perch two to shoot gotta have it another big dunk in the paint He's been feasting down low today. Don Priest just eating right now. Give him the ball. He's hungry. Matter of fact, he's starving. And that's why when you're an apex predator, they're the most dangerous. Sometimes they don't eat for weeks, maybe months. So they're just feeding for a meal. And Don Priest is definitely stepping up this game. His hunger is taking over. And now it's just an onslaught. It's just straight blood fire. And it's going to be a feast. But then Morocco kicking back from behind the arc and hitting his mark. Yeah, Prince below just moving off the ball again hard to defend off the ball making his shot really really good to see just to update you on the flip side Turkir have jumped out to a nine to three lead correct that 11 to three lead with coming up on two minutes left in the first quarter over Lebanon you are not missing any action as we go split screen here shout out to production they read our minds Vince and here we go Don Preach again with the dunk in the paint. He's up to about 14 points, and I want to say seven dunks. <laughs> seven dunks. I think that's a skill booster, and I'm telling you, this man is showing his build to this finest way because the one thing is that he knows he's the center. He knows that his position is just supposed to make sure you're protecting the rim, but a beautiful three again, and I said this is bad between three, two, three, two. Threes will always win. They got to step a little bit more Philippines if you want to get so, to lead. So, look, I mean... The Philippines, they're a big scoring team. They like to score, okay? And one thing that Morocco have done is said, well, we're gonna take that part of your game away. So yeah, you can have all the dunks you want with Tom Preach. On the flip side, Morocco moving off the ball have found their open shots and taken them and made them crucially bits, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're seeing right here, as well as some stand-up defense, just like we're seeing on display there. Now, two minutes left in the third quarter when it comes to Philippines, Morocco. As you see, Ibraxo talking to his teammates. He becoming that leader, just at 30 years old, basically like that, that dad and the team saying, yo, it's time for us to focus, all right? Let's corral the kitties and let's do something again. Goes to the rim, but misses the cup. You got to it is your breakfast, man. That was there for the taking, and you couldn't take it. Yeah, man, he didn't just leave some crumbs on the plate. He left a whole bloody Sambo, mate. What's going on? Ain't that thing. Honestly, it looked like a goaltend for a hot minute there. I could see Clark trying to sit there nearly at the uh, substitute spot and work his three. Are they finally going to get going? The Philippines needed that three-pointer, Vince. That was huge. I mean, correct me wrong. I think that was one of the first threes I'm seeing right now in the second half. Maybe there's probably one in the first, but I definitely know it was the first here. And that's what you need. Down by three. Now going down, keeping this offensive. He's straight to the lane. And bam, disrespectful. Jamming on his head. Trying to put him in the bed. All right. Philippines is alive. Down by one. Wowzers, it's a one-point lead, which is my favorite kind, because anything can happen here, Vince. Of course, Master X is activated. They leave him just a tiny bit of breathing room, and he drops in a three of his own. 
Morocco are not going quietly into that desert night right here, man. They're here to stay. Who's up to God will be proud right now. You see your target and you're knocking it down. But the one thing I want to know is this. Does the Philippines have the stones? Do you got the amazing energy to come back from that six-point deficit? 28 to 32, 50 seconds left into the third. You got to get your team together. And then you're going to the man that's been hot all day, already activated, and again, standing dunk by Don Breach. Through two point game. Now again, 3-2, three, 3-2. Two, three, two. You gotta make a difference. Big facts, man. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up what you're laying down, mate, because it is gonna come down to the wire and they're gonna look back and just recognize that the strategy for Morocco is working. Shakes him out of his boots, drops it in, four point lead restored, under 30 seconds to play here in the third quarter. That man flew like Jordan on the Bulls, but he was on defense, not offense. Just left him like a bad relationship. But then a beautiful slam, a jammer once again by Philippines. Filipinas is still in there, and real quick, Turkey, 22 to 11, Lebanon is down. But back to this game, because this is a one and done. Here we go, wave away the shot clock, probably gonna milk it down for the final shot here of the third quarter. And then we are going to have ourselves, Vince, a fourth quarter for the ages as that rattles out. Are we going to see him tie it up? No. Quick steal. Got it off. It missed. Woo. They're keeping us on their toes, man. They're, they're keeping us honest. Anxiety. Anxiety. Medic. Medic. I need something. I need to lower my blood pressure. But okay. Clock is activated. And you know what? They didn't waste any time with that inbound. Straight up the court. I'm feeling a little bit of Big Mo here. Big momentum for the Philippines, mate. I'm loving what I'm seeing. They have an opportunity to take the lead. He drops it in. The first Filipino lead of the day. Are you kidding me? There's certain people who got the will to take the shot, but he got the skill to make the shot. That's what you do as a captain. You step up when it's time. And that's what I want to see from the Philippines. One point deficit. Oh my God, a beautiful turnover right now. They're still on the defense. We got people activated. Let's see the takeovers going. I just see sharp shooter. Can he do it again? He's going to play with his food just a little bit behind the back, trying to leave him. Got some space, but this is from the logo. I don't think it's going to be Dane time. It's a Dane time. Good pass to the corner. And Austin, give it up. It's ice too fast. Yes, he is. Ice too fast and ice in my veins. I'm knocking it down. I am here to tell you, man. I know we're looking at beautiful pixels in 4K resolution here, but I can see the real body language from this Filipino team. That inbound play said, I'm coming for you. And they are absolutely bringing it now to Morocco, who are missing their shots when it matters the most. And we got ourselves a six-point Filipino lead. An urgent time out there for Morocco, and for the first time in this game, the Filipinos are chirping at the Moroccans. All right, look, I'm from New York. DJ Clue won the hottest DJs to do it, and right now, Clue on Philippines is bringing up that smooth transition, and that's what I want to see. But Marcon almost got it on his head, couldn't finish. Fantastic defense by a Filipino, and let's see if they can hold this six-point lead. This is a 10-point to zero run in the fourth quarter for the Philippines. Vince. It doesn't get much bigger. Talk about peaking at the right time. This is huge. And now look at them employ the Turkish tactic, which is to milk that shot clock all the way down. Take a high percentage shot. Drop it in. And that is one nail in the coffin. Oh my word. We are witnessing greatness here, Vince. We're talking about demigod bills right now. They're like Poseidon. They're putting that trident up, and they're making the threes rain. They're bringing out the ocean. They're making sure they got the potion. And let's see what it is. Woo, baby! This is called a change in the sway. Look, at the end of the day, they're coming out on top if they keep going this way. Are you kidding me? Right now, Morocco are colder than an Eskimo's elbow. Meanwhile, these lads right here from the Philippines heating up. This is this is literally insane. Well, let's see. Let's see if there's any deflation of Morocco. We can't take away from them. They still got the power to come back. I mean, they got some fantastic games. And right there, as soon as I say it, beautiful cut to the basket and a slam a jammer from Morocco. Now it's 45 to 36. Nine-point game. Two minutes left in the fourth. Can Filipino hold this lead? That was a 15 to 2 run though in the fourth quarter, Vince. The Filipinos just went off like a firecracker. Phenomenal stuff. And now Morocco find themselves 
with this impossible peak to climb right here. Down by nine, they can do it. Likewise, in the other game, we've got Turkey and Lebanon with only a four point differential. One minute 10 to play in the second right there. Morocco going to the line. They need that free throw right there. They need both of these. Here we go. Cuts the lead to just seven and they get the inbound. Big time possession right here. The game could be won or lost. All right, two minutes to go. This is called basketball IQ at its finest. What do you do? Big fella, you're not going to take that three. You're going to give it to your porn guard. All right, Master Works trying to get that little muscle pump fake. All right, losing this dribble. Great defense from Filipinos. All right, now coming back here. One on one. Prince had the shot, did the pump fake. Little contest, stays done. And a nice defense from the Filipinos, but could not knock it down. Morocco still got the possession. One 37 left in the fourth. That is an elbow shot. I love the mid-range. Knocking it down now. Just a five-point deficit. Got to take that, too. Really smart. Great offensive board. That was clutch. They could not afford an empty possession right there because coming back at the other end, this Filipino team are feeling themselves right now, Vince. They are spicy. They want it. There goes a huge dunk. And one! We got ourselves a potential three-point play here. Big man, shoot three throw. That's a two-piece. Let's get your biscuit right here. What is going down? That's Big what I'm talking about. Shout out my man, Kyle Montgomery. I love your little lines. Baby. Woo! Wowzers. What a time to show up if you're the Philippines. It was like they laid dormant the first three quarters, and then they hit a switch. As we see Morocco claw back a three if they're going to cut the lead again to five. A minute, ten to play in this one. Every possession critical. This is huge. Right there was doing LeBron King emote. All right, let's see if you are the king of Africa. All right, maybe a sultan. But right now, the emperors of Asia is definitely trying to come in. And just right to the rim, Don Preach is preaching to the big fellas. I know my build, and I'm tearing down this rim like I'm Shaquille O'Neal. He's literally got 20 points in dunks today. And their three game finally showed up in the fourth. Got to take that big stripping block. Phenomenal defense here from the Philippines. They get a huge stop. 40 seconds of play in this one. Seven point lead. Clock is their friend, Vince. This is huge. It looks as though they're going to turn defeat into victory. Absolutely massive. As we get the ball going out of bounds, who'd that come off? Okay, Zebra say Filipino ball. Here we go, but only seven on the clock. Now that block was like when the gods of basketball just say no. Because that was absolutely holy. All right, but here we go. Social, three ball, unable quarter pocket, but Don Priest eating up the offensive ball. He got a three body bag right there. He even dunked on his own man. This man is a corridor. Let's go to the funeral home because he's trying to put the last nails in that coffin. Fitz. This has been a legendary Filipino performance. Yeah, this court was Moroccan and they came a knocking and they got in my friend. They've turned defeat into victory. They had to win. Look what it means to the lads right there. The Moroccans are not happy. It's That's what happens sometimes. Look, it's they're going to shake it out. It means a lot to these guys have come a long way. Look,